powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News on KAJ, Montana's news leader. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Don Fisher. A Florida man is dead after a medical event while he was snowshoeing during a visit to Glacier National Park. Authorities say that the park dispatch received a call from a commercial guide on Tuesday afternoon that a client had collapsed while walking along the Fish Creek Road. Park rangers responded and continued CPR already begun by the guide. Three Rivers Ambulance and Alert Air Ambulance also responded to the scene and efforts to resuscitate the visitor were unsuccessful. The 64 year old man was visiting the park from Miami, Florida with family members. The name of a woman who died in a two vehicle crash that shut down U.S. Highway 93 near River Valley for several hours yesterday has been released. Lake County Sheriff Don Bell says that 65 year old Janet Harmson of Polson died in a head on collision near the intersection of North Valley Road, which is at the south end of the S curves coming into River Valley. Montana Highway Patrol responded to the two vehicle crash just before 3 p.m. Tuesday, and they say that Hampson was driving northbound in a Subaru Legacy when she crossed the center line for unknown reasons and collided with a Toyota FJ Cruiser carrying two occupants. Harmson was pronounced dead at the scene. The two occupants of the other vehicle were taken to St. Patrick Hospital in Missoula. Their conditions are unknown. MHP says everyone involved in the crash was wearing their seatbelts, and alcohol and drugs are not suspected. A 62-year-old Libby woman is accused of shooting and killing her husband in mid-December. Lincoln County Sheriff officials say in court documents that they responded to a 911 call from Connie Jean Leckrone that her husband had accidentally shot himself in their home. 69-year-old Dean Leckrone was found dead with a single gunshot wound to the head in a bedroom closet. In court documents, sheriff's officials say that details at the scene and Connie Leckrone's interview with investigators led them to believe that she had shot her husband. While reviewing a recorded video interview with the suspect, Investigator, investigators heard her mumble, I shot him, while Connie was alone before investigators entered the room. She is also accused of tampering with evidence. After investigators say she licked her hands and poured water on them prior to being tested for gunshot residue. This was also captured on video. Connie Leckrone is being held in Lincoln County Detention Center on felony deliberate homicide and misdemeanor tampering with evidence charges, and her bail has been set at $500,000, and her next court appearance is scheduled for early January. And a chilly week filled with snow looks to continue into the near future, prompting storm warnings and advisories. For more, let's turn it over to Chief Meteorologist Aaron Yost, who has a look at our first forecast. Aaron? Yeah, looking at a multi-day event here for us in northwest Montana. Taking a look at the radar right now, we have seen some light snow earlier today. A lot of the focus a bit further to our south, but our radar will start to fill in greatly here throughout the day on Thursday, and especially for those of us in valleys, Friday into Saturday. Here's a look at where those winter storm warnings are located. I will tell you the West Glacier region will be the hardest hit where we are expecting 20 to 24 inches uh, localized amounts up to 30 inches with some pretty cold wind chills expected. Uh, elsewhere we do have that winter storm watch out for the Flathead and Mission Valleys for some significant snow. I've got a whole lot more coming up. Okay, thank you, Aaron. Olympian and Whitefish native Maggie Volson is home for the holidays, taking a short break from her Olympic qualifying event at the Whitefish Mountain Resort. Tomorrow from 1 until 2.30 p.m., she'll be skiing with fans on Big Mountain, followed by an autograph signing event. This event is free and open to the public, and Voison will be skiing laps on Chair 2, located on the front left side of the mountain. She is slated to compete in several events, including the X Games, before heading to Pyeongchang for the 2018 Winter Games. In Sochi, Voison was the set to become the youngest U.S. athlete to compete at the Winter Olympics since 1972, two months after turning 15. But she fractured her right fibula in practice on the day of the opening ceremony. And it can be a challenge for parents to find childcare around the holidays, but Kalispell Parks and Rec is helping out. MTN's Jack Ginsburg shows us how. Kalispell Parks and Recreation run an after-school program throughout the school year, but they also have special camps for weeks like this when parents may be at work and their kids have no school. It's about two and a half hours after school program. This one's about 10 hours. So it's a lot different. There's a lot more activities planned. Mostly we do field trips just to get them out. One of those field trips that the kids got to do Wednesday was a tour of the Kalispell Fire Department to see a day in the life of a firefighter. Kalispell Fire Department paramedic Doug Schwartz says it's nice to make a connection with the youth in the valley. Just kind of allows us to make a connection with kids that uh, that's hard to do, you know, as, as people get busy and older and, and things aren't as interesting to, to people anymore. Kids are really fascinated by the fire trucks in the station and the, and the people here, and so it's kind of nice to, to capitalize on that excitement. 
Not only do the firefighters let the kids play with their toys, but they teach them about fire safety as well. We like to, to leave them with a good uh, message for fire safety, just to kind of get that seed planted in their heads that um, hopefully down the road, you know, kind of kind of keeps them thinking about the things they do being safe and, and preventing the things that are easily preventable. And the fun didn't stop there at the fire department today. The kids came back here to Elrod Elementary to have lunchtime and some recess in the gym before heading outside to have a snowman making competition. During weeks like this, Boyd says it's nice that the camp can give some parents a bit of relief while they're at work. Everyone tries to get off for the holidays and when they can't, it's just really special that we have a program like this to help people like that because it's really difficult to find stuff like childcare during the holidays. And not only is it convenient for parents, but a great experience for the kids as well. I think that they just really enjoy being able to have a free time away from parents and all that family stuff and they, it really makes it a lot better environment when there's a lot more kids and the kids are just way happier. They listen better. It's awesome. I think they really enjoy it. In Kalispell, Jack Ginsburg, MTN News. And that program continues through the week. Montana regulators say that they've taken action to require utility companies to pass the benefits that they will receive from the federal tax reform onto their customers. The Public Service Commission ordered regulates, regulated utilities to determine how much they will save because of the new tax bill, then create a proposal for how that they will apply those savings. That could include direct refunds for ratepayers or paying for large projects that would otherwise fall on those taxpayers for um, those improvements. The new requirements will apply initially to Northwestern Energy's electric and gas services and to Montana Dakota Utilities electric service. Commissioners say that they are one of the first regulatory bodies in the country to take this step. We really are kind of at the tip of the spear, if you will, in, in terms of this approach of proactively going to the utility saying, hey, there's going to be a chunk of money here that you guys are going to have to do something with. We're going to insist you do it in a way that benefits the rate payers. And the federal tax bill makes several large changes, including reducing the corporate tax rate from 35% to 21%. And PSC staff say it will take several months to determine the full effect on Montana utilities. The Montana Lottery will be awarding an additional $38,000 in prizes during this Friday's Montana Millionaire Drawing. The additional drawings are due to an operator error in defining the number of instant winners when the game sold out on December 15th. 77 additional winning numbers will be drawn, with each one worth $500. Only tickets that were not already instant winners will qualify for this special drawing, and the winners will still be eligible for the $1 million grand prize. People are encouraged to reach out to the lottery if they have any questions or think that they might have won this week. Be sure um, to call us or to reach out. You can stop by if you're in Helena. Um, reach out to our website. We are happy to help and really excited for our winners this year. And the Montana Lottery says that they want to be as transparent as possible for these additional drawings and ensure that all prize money gets distributed. The 2017 Montana Millionaire Drawing will be held at 10 a.m. this Friday. President Trump is on vacation at his Florida resort, but he never takes a vacation from Twitter, and presidential tweets have a way of shaping policy. Mole Lenghi is at the White House with the latest from Trump's Twitter feed. President Trump made a Wednesday morning trip to his golf club in West Palm Beach. This vacation, he's been active on the links and Twitter, predicting the repeal of the individual mandate for Obamacare will prompt Republicans and Democrats to come together to create a new health care plan. President Trump campaigned on a promise to repeal the Affordable Care Act, and I think this was an attempt to signal to his voters that he had done so. The individual mandate imposed a fine on those who do not sign up for health insurance. Without that penalty, the Congressional Budget Office projects about 13 million more people will be without coverage by 2027. CBS News and Slate political analyst Jamail Bowie is skeptical about Republicans and Democrats coming together on a new health care plan in the new year. The Republican Party is not committed to universal insurance, uh, not committed to expanding coverage in the way that the Democratic Party is. And so his promises are going to ring hollow, given that there simply isn't a Republican coalition that exists that wants to expand health insurance. While the president did not get a full Obamacare repeal, he did get to sign a tax overhaul bill before leaving the White House for the holiday. Last night, he tweeted, all signs are that business is looking really good for next year, only to be helped further by our tax cut bill. Will be a great year for companies and jobs. Stock market is poised for another year of success. <laughs> Investors have driven up the stock market to record levels in 2017. Mola Lange, CBS News, the White House. 
And coming up next on KAJ, destructive natural disasters and powerful men facing sexual misconduct allegations were just some of the biggest national news stories of 2017. We'll take a look back next.